Hello children, I'm Miss Allison. And, this is my friend, Miss Daisy. Welcome to our English classroom. Before we start our lesson, please take out your student's book and workbook. What do you know about Egypt? I don't know. Let me explain to you. Egypt is very old. Long ago, kings called pharaohs ruled the land. People believed that pharaohs were gods. The pharaohs had huge pyramids built. These pyramids are tombs for the pharaohs. Gold treasures were placed in the tombs. Some of these treasures are in museums now. Let's learn about these vocabularies. 1. Camel. 2. Hump. 3. Desert. 4. Speak. 5. Wig. Facts about Egypt, past and present. Read and write past or present. Write down your answers on a piece of paper. You are given three minutes to answer the questions. Let's check your answer. 1. Present. 2. Present. 3. Past. 4. Present. 5. Present. 6. Present. 7. Past. 8. Present. 9. Past. Open your workbook on page 24, Activity 1. Listen and complete Brian's notes about the Egyptian Museum. Module 3. Workbook. Let's play. 1. Listen and complete Brian's notes about the Egyptian Museum. 
One. What are you doing, Brian? My homework. I have to write about the Egyptian Museum. Oh, when did you go to the Egyptian Museum? Was it last Wednesday? No, not Wednesday. I went last Thursday. Two. The Egyptian Museum is very nice. What was your favorite room? Was it the treasures room? No, it was the mummy room. Were the mummies scary? Yes, they were. They were really ugly too. Three. Who is your favorite Egyptian king or queen? I really like Cleopatra. She was the last queen of Egypt. I didn't know that. Do you know how to spell Cleopatra? Yes, I do. It's C L E O P A T R A. Four. What did Egyptians do for fun? They played board games. They had a board game called Senate. Really? How do you spell Senate? S E N E T. It's one of the oldest board games in the world. Children, let's look at present simple and past simple. I go ice skating every week. Yesterday, I went ice skating with my friends. We use the present simple for habits and actions that happen regularly. For example, every day, every week, every month, every year, or every Monday. For permanent situation, for example, my uncle lives in Malaysia. Remember, adverbs of frequency give information about how often something happens. We use them mainly with the present simple. For example, always, usually, often, sometimes, never. We use the past simple for actions that took place at a definite time in the past. For example, yesterday, last Monday, last night, two hours ago. For completed actions that happened one after the other in the past, for example, I got up at eight o'clock, had breakfast, and went to school. We form the past simple of regular verbs by adding ed to the base form to the main verb. Verbs that end in e take d. Verbs that end with one vowel plus consonant double the final consonant. Verbs that end in consonant plus y drop the y and take ied. We form the past simple of irregular verbs in a different way. Children, you can get the list from Miss Gunn. Goodbye children. If you have any question, please ask Miss Gunn. See you in the next lesson.